Don't you wish it was sometimes easy to convert a black and white photo to color, or a lot of black and white photos to color? Hey, this is Scott Widenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, I want to show you a really cool website, a really cool tool that uses artificial intelligence to colorize your photographs. There are developers out of Singapore that have created a really cool tool which will convert your black and white photos to color photographs. This tool does not get color 100% accurate 100% of the time. Because it's artificial intelligence, it has to rely on uh, objects that it sees in the photographs to colorize the rest of the photos. And it doesn't colorize photos in bulk. You have to do it one by one. Even if you do 100 photos one by one, it's still saving you hours of colorizing time because you're not doing it manually. You're letting the software do it for you. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday, whenever possible. So click that subscribe button below now if you want to see more videos like this one. And karate kick that notification bell so you are notified when a new video goes live. And also a quick thank you to Mac World I Warranty for partnering with me on this video because without them, I am not making videos. So there you go. Check out Mac World I Warranty. So let's head over to the computer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This is colorize.s.sg and this website, uh, as you can see, shows you, you know, photo before and after and you can try this for yourself. And again, it's one by one and I'm gonna show you three photos and, 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 how, and how cool this really can be. So first things first, you have to click this CAPTCHA thing in order to do this. Uh, I'm going to start with a, uh, a photo of my biological father when he was six years old, literally on his sixth birthday. And I'm going to just drop this in here and it's gonna show me a before and after of this photograph. I'll start with the before and you can see it's just a dark black and white photo. You can tell it's on his birthday six years old, and you just have to grab that slider back, where here it is, and then you can see as I colorize it, now it is color, and you can see he's wearing a blue shirt, or a shirt with a blue, blue tints. It could be completely blue. Again, the software is not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. It figured out skin tone, hair color, uh, lip color. It, can, it recognizes what color those should be, so it figures out the photo based on that. And you can see that even the balloons have color uh, in the tablecloths. So uh, there's one example right there, you know? It's doing a really good job of colorizing a photo of my biological father on his sixth birthday. The next photo I'm going to show you is one of my grandparents' house, and it is a photo probably from the uh, 40s, 50s. This is another one that is not perfect, uh, but it does a pretty good job to give you an idea of what the colors were. This is my grandparents' house, and you can see there's two classic cars in here, and that's the reason why I wanted to do this, because I was curious what color these cars were. Now, uh, if there was some detail in the sky, which there's not because this is a very old photo that was already fading, plus I had to scan it, so it, there's no dynamic range in this photo, but if there was, it would be able to pull the sky color from here, uh, plus, based on the tree, it should be able to figure out the, the, some of the colors of the tree and whatnot. So let's go ahead and grab this slider and start colorizing. And you can see it did start figuring out the grass. We can see there's some grays, some blues. You can see some color in the house, some green in the grass over there. But as you can see, the sky is not changing. So this is where colorize is not perfect, right? It's, it's given me an idea of what the colors were, but it's not filling in all the details because there was no details in the print in the first place. And there we go. Here is the colored version. Now, again, think about this. If you were to do this manually, it would take you hours to colorize a photo, whereas in seconds, it did it for us. The next photo I'm gonna show you should have an impact on you because of what the photo is. The photo is actually one that is in the Holocaust Museum. It is one that my uh, wife's grandfather is in, okay? It's when uh, they were actually liberated from a concentration camp. This is the photo. This is her grandfather. 
over here in the in the long uh, long trench coat. And the caption is inmates waving a homemade homemade American flag uh, to greet the U.S. Seventh Army troops upon their arrival at the Alak concentration camp. This photo, uh, like I said, is in Holocaust Museum, and it is big. It is a uh, it's an impactful photo because it's literally them waving a homemade American flag. Um, they're happy. There's there's sadness. There's you you when you see this in color, okay, you're it's gonna be even more impactful than the black and white photo. Uh, now, I'm gonna upload this. Um, if you're sensitive to this type of thing, just skip ahead. Uh, but if you're okay with seeing this, then you know. Thanks for, thanks for sticking around. I just wanted to share how good color eyes could be when there's a lot of detail in the photo and, and objects that are really recognizable. Now, I think that if this American flag was not homemade, that if it was uh, a perfect American flag and you could see it perfectly in the photo, I think that the color would be even better. But with that said, it's pretty darn good when you see this result, even with a homemade American flag. So here we go. It's worth noting that Colorize works best with large photos. If you do one that's tiny, it's not going to do as well as it would with a large photo. So I actually got this from the Holocaust Museum, uh, their, their website, because that's where it's, it's even larger than the scan that we actually had in the family. Okay, so here's a black and white photo. Again, this is my wife's grandfather, and there's a bunch, a lot of other people. You can see there's there's happy faces, there's, you know, sort of monotone faces, there's the, Amer the homemade American flag, and, you know, a lot of great things, okay? Now check out the color version. You can now see colors of the clothing, the skin tones. You can see how dirty they actually are. And you can see the American flag in color. You can see the sky, how blue it was that day. So this is colorize.sg. Again, it's a developers out of Singapore that used apparently Singapore military software code and adopted into this sort of prototype of what could be. Now hopefully, companies like Topaz and Skyloom and On One and all these companies that are experimenting with artificial intelligence in photography software can use the technology like this and include it in their software in bulk. Because now, if that's possible, you can now colorize hundreds of thousands of black and white photographs in seconds each. Not hundreds in a second, but like, you know, maybe a hundred seconds. You know, something like that. So next time that you have a black and white photo that you want to colorize, consider checking out colorize.sg because I am freaking impressed with how well it can colorize photos, even if it's one by one. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.